Creo Parametric 4.0 interface enhancements. What we're going to do is just show you a couple of things that have changed it and made it uh, much easier to use the graphics area on Creo 4.0. First of all, I'm going to make the system full screen, window full screen, and then I'm going to click on F11 key to make the menus all go away. And what we have is the ability to work completely in full screen without the encumbrance of all the information areas and ribbons. Now to get them, all you need to do is go up and move your cursor up to the top and you'll get your normal set of commands. You can get rid of the uh, little on-screen buttons too if you want, the menu. Uh, nothing over on the right-hand side right now. On the bottom, if I go down below, you'll see that the information area pops back up. You can go into any of the commands that you had before. Here's your toggle full screen down on the bottom <clears throat> if you don't want to hit the F11 key. And if you go to the left side, you get your typical model tree where you can do any of your selections as before. Now, one of the things that is different now is whenever you click on something, you get a series of choices. You don't have to do the right mouse button anymore. So if I go over here and I click on the top, you'll see that this automatically gives me my selection <clears throat> or set of selections. If I hit my right mouse button, yes, there's a whole bunch of other options that I can use. So I'm just going to over here select it, and I'm going to go and select View Normal. So it'll turn it, middle mouse button. Now I've got my view with reflections on. Obviously, the old method is to come up here and to make the changes with the drop down. With the new interface, if you hit F1, I'm sorry, Control 1, Control 2, you'll see it toggles through. This is shaded, uh, this is uh, edges, shaded, no edges, shading. No hidden line. F5 is hidden line. And F6 is wireframe. So go back to F1. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. Control 1, Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, Control 5, Control 6. So I can toggle through them very quickly. Now, another thing that you can do here is, for instance, if you put your cursor on something and select it, whatever it is, you get your options. If you're looking for another option, you can customize this by right mouse button, customize. And for instance, let's say you want to add any of these items to it. Um, active annotation plane, angle, uh, even appearance manager. And you just take it and you bring it over to your mini toolbar. whatever is going to make your selection and your modeling quicker. You can build your menus. Click on OK. And now when I go over here, you'll see that option is available if I wanted to go into my appearances right away. So any of those menus can be built up to be more productive. If you want to get rid of that, you don't want it there, you just take it and remove it. All the other functionality is there as with Creo 3, but I think working in this full screen mode is quite nice. Pretty much anything you need is there if you need to get at it. Um, I'll rotate this around a little bit. Standard orientation is here now. And again, if I wanted to go Control 2, at least I'll do Control 4. I can toggle. So I get quite a few options on how I want to view my model. That concludes this little mini demo.